Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for blocking my ex-husband's new girlfriend from getting her hands on his late mother's precious jewelry. Throwaway cause fam follows my main account. I, 40F, and my ex Joe, a 41M, we've got quite a history. We were high school sweethearts, started dating at 17, got married at 19, and divorced 20 years later. So it's been nearly two years since we split. We have an amazing daughter, Sarah, who's eight now, and she's adjusted really well to the separation. Joe and I get along great. The divorce was super amicable, and we're still good friends. We don't hang out alone or anything, but we don't argue or fuss at each other. We help each other out and have each other's backs because, at the end of the day, our number one priority is always Sarah, and making sure she's okay. We've both moved on and are in serious long-term relationships with other people. Joe's girlfriend, Lily, 46F, is really great and treats him well. I've never had any conflict with her, and I actually enjoy spending time with her during holidays and important events. Everything was smooth until last week. Joe's parents passed away within a month of each other last summer, and it was devastating for all of us. Even though Joe and I had been divorced for about a year by then, they still treated me like family, and I loved them dearly. Joe and Lily weren't dating yet when they passed, so she never got to meet them. It's a real shame because they were incredible people. So here's what happened. Last week, Sarah got a box in the mail from her aunt. The aunt had been sorting out my late mother-in-law's jewelry and was dividing it among the kids and grandkids. There was a huge collection of both costume and fine jewelry. I'll let Joe know about it, and he explained that some of it was left to me. We planned to go through it together when he came over. Lily came with him, which was fine. It was an extremely emotional time, so I was glad she was there to support him. Now, here's where things get tricky. As we were going through the jewelry, we pulled out a few cheaper costume pieces for Sarah to have now and picked out a couple of rings, a necklace, and three pairs of earrings to keep for her. Joe and I agreed that the rest would be put away in the lockbox at my house until Sarah is older and it would go to her. One of the pieces being put away was a beautiful set of ruby and diamond earrings and a necklace. They're clearly very real, and we believe were passed down from Joe's grandmother. Lily had been admiring the set, making comments about how well it would go with the wedding dress she's been eyeing, they're not engaged, or even with some of her date night outfits. Joe didn't say anything in response, and when Lily put them down, I wrapped them back up and put them in the lot box with the rest of the jewelry. Since then, Lily has been texting me multiple times asking if she can just borrow them. At one point, she accused me of just wanting them for myself, and pointed out that Joe and I were divorced, so I don't have any right to keep them. She also mentioned that when they get married, the jewelry will legally be part of their marital assets anyway, so I'm just delaying the inevitable. I'm not planning on wearing them, I'm sticking to my agreement with Joe that I'll wear the pieces I picked out and the rest will stay put away for Sarah. I have zero intention of taking any of it out unless it's necessary, and even then I'll let Joe know what's going on with it. Joe has been radio silent, and I haven't said anything because I don't want to cause any conflict that could affect Sarah. So, am I the asshole for not giving in and letting Lily have some of the jewelry meant for my daughter? Update. So many of you asked for an update, so here it is. Joe took an extended lunch yesterday and came by the house alone. I explained to him why I was reluctant to bring everything up, but I was tired of being harassed about the jewelry and I feel strongly that it belongs to Sarah, not to either of us and certainly not to Lily. Joe agreed immediately, and was shocked to find out that Lily had been asking about it. He was angry when I showed him the messages. I figured a face-to-face -face conversation was best, so I handed him my phone to show him the conversation for himself. It sucked to see him so upset, and I have a feeling things might get worse because, from what he was saying, it sounds like Lily might not be around much longer. Regardless, she won't be allowed back in my home or to spend any time with Sarah alone if Joe doesn't break up with her. I also went first thing yesterday morning and opened a safe deposit box at a different bank. It's not one I normally use, and as of now my name is the only one on it, and I have the only key. I was worried about the possibility of Lily having any kind of access to the jewelry with it being in the house, and until this is all resolved, I feel better knowing there's no way for her to get to it. Joe and I discussed this when he came over, and he agrees that it's the best way to protect Sarah's inheritance. All but one of the pieces I picked out also went into the box. 
As much as I'd love to have a couple of the other pieces to wear in remembrance of her on the really hard days, I'd rather know it's safe, and I still have the one piece that brings me comfort. I'm getting notarized documents and will be meeting with a lawyer to figure out what else needs to be done to ensure that the jewelry goes to Sarah without any issues or challenges. I spoke to the aunt who sent everything over the weekend after I posted this and got so much good advice, thank you all and asked her to send copies of everything pertaining to the jewelry, along with documentation from her, as the executor of what was sent to who. I didn't tell her about the issues with Lily, that's Joe's call. I have an appointment later today with a GIA certified appraiser, so I'll take all the documents and the pictures and video I took of each piece last night to the lawyer. I'm still leaning towards setting up a trust to ensure Sarah's interests and assets are protected, but I'll see what the lawyer says and go from there. I feel terrible for Joe. He's a great guy, and even though our marriage didn't work out, I still care about him a lot. He's not just my daughter's father, but one of my best friends, and I want him to find someone who loves him the way he deserves. It's just that whoever that is needs to understand that Sarah will always come first, and that Joe and I will always work as a team to ensure she's happy, healthy, and successful, no matter what happens with our personal relationships. Comment Contribution for a friend. You would also try to find pictures of his mother wearing them, and write all the good memories you have from Sarah's grandparents. Perhaps this will work better if you printed and saved some files in a memory card, like a pen drive. Write about when you met his parents, when they said something nice, something about when you said you were pregnant, and it was a girl, about Sarah's name, and the day she was born. If you still have some of the first baby clothes her grandparents gifted, place them in a box too. Add recipes her grandma liked to bake, doesn't need to be original but the special dish she liked a lot. Ask the aunt if she kept an old tie from the grandfather. Or some blue t-shirt he liked. A memory from him too. If it's not too much work, add a video by you talking about them to Sarah. A video you and her can watch in 10 or 15 years. Add pictures. Lots of them. Right behind the photo, a memory or just a tag about it. Say all the things that made them amazing and how they will always love her and her dad. Add data, a smell, who was there too, who wasn't born yet, the things that were still to happen, the good things but also the bad. Tell about COVID. Tell about the end of the 90s. Tell about the moon landing, the grandparents must have said something, right? Tell about all the things you can. Sarah will not only receive the jewelry, but an amount of love that is behind it. Her baby clothes, her grandfather tie slash shirt, the pictures, recipes, and your memories will bring a full impact that she is receiving much more than jewelry. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.